Voters in Alabama also casting ballots today. Three leading Republicans are vying for their party's Senate nomination. Governor Kay Ivey facing eight challengers in the GOP governor's race. Marky Martin is joining us live from the Alabama State Capitol with a look ahead. Good morning to you, Marky. Good to have you with us. Hey, Adrian, another Tuesday, another primary. Good morning from Alabama State Capitol. Polls open here in just about an hour. As you mentioned, a couple big races today, including that for governor, but really all eyes are on that U.S. Senate seat that is up for grabs here. But let's start with that governor's race uh, quickly. This is a crowded field. You have six Democrats and nine Republicans vying for that top spot including incumbent Republican Governor Kay Ivey. Right now, her top uh, opponents really do seem to be real estate businesswoman Linda Blanchard and infrastructure businessman Tim James. But again, that big ticket item is today's Senate race. This will decide who replaces longtime Republican Senator Richard Shelby. And right now, again, remember, very red state here. Uh, right now, the top three GOP candidates do seem to be Shelby's former chief of staff, Katie Britt, longtime seasoned legislator, Republican Mo Brooks, and then U.S. Army veteran Mike Durant. Let's take a listen from all three of those top GOP candidates. Voters are looking for someone like me, political outsider, real world experience, you know, combat veteran, business owner, raised the family, been in Alabama for more than 20 years, and they're tired of the same old, same old. I think I have a unique perspective, um, being a mama of two. Um, there are parents all across the state that are stepping up and know that if our generation doesn't step up and fight for the next generation, there's not going to be anything left for our children to fight for. It looks like there will probably be a runoff, but it's ultimately going to be up to the voters of the state of Alabama. I trust in their wisdom. The key is to get the voters of Alabama enough information so that they can discern what the true facts are. And if they do that, we're in really good shape. And Adrian, a couple notes of interest here. Uh, Republican Representative Mo Brooks actually winning the endorsement of former President Donald Trump before Trump revoked that endorsement. Brooks took to a rally earlier this year, and there he encouraged voters to look past the 2020 election and really focus on the future. As you can imagine, that irked the former president who has yet to back another dog in the fight. Another interesting note here, uh, really the wild card in this contest, is U.S. Army veteran Mike Durant. He was a helicopter pilot shot down in Somalia in 1993. That went on to be depicted in what we all now know as Black Hawk Down. The Democratic candidates, uh, there are very few. There are three. You have Will Boyd, Brandon Dean, and Landy ja uh, Lanny Jackson. If there's a runoff, it'll be June 21st. Adrian. All right. Thank you so much to you, Marky. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.